Today, we look at the latest science news ranging from the world's first human cyborg to the future of storm tracking technology. First up, British scientist Peter Scott Morgan, also known as the world's first human cyborg, has passed away at the age of 64. Scott Morgan, a brilliant scientist in the field of robotics, made headlines in 2019 when he completed his transition into the world's first human cyborg, known as Peter 2.0. He had earlier been diagnosed with ALS, a motor neuron disease. However, he refused to accept the terminal diagnosis and worked to become fully robotic to extend his life. He could express his feelings by using eye tracking technology to operate computers and use a wheelchair that allowed him to stand and lie flat. Following his death on June the 14th, his research team has vowed to help those who are limited by age, health conditions, and disabilities through high-tech systems such as AI and robotics. Scott Morgan's ultimate goal was to help revolutionize what it means to be human. Polar bears usually depend on solid sea ice to survive. But scientists have recently discovered a group of polar bears in southeastern Greenland that live in a slushy mix of freshwater snow and ice. Researchers show that the bears are genetically distinct from other groups within Greenland since they are surrounded by the mountains and currents to the country's east. Scientists say the new population may offer clues to how polar bears will hunt their prey since they are more susceptible to climate change. They added that this new group can help predict how polar bears will survive as other subpopulations are isolated by disappearing sea ice. NASA is gearing up to launch tiny satellites into space to help forecasters keep a closer eye on tropical storms. Each satellite is just under 30 centimeters long and equipped it with a microwave radiometer that's the size of a coffee cup. They will be able to measure heat and light coming from oxygen or water vapor in the air. These will also help them create 3D images of the environment fueling a particular storm. The satellites will be positioned over the U.S.'s mid-Atlantic region to Australia's southern coast, where most tropical cyclones are born. NASA's current weather satellites can only check in on a storm every four to six hours. The new ones should shrink that time frame significantly to hourly updates. Google is releasing a new data set that tells us how the Earth's surface is being impacted in real time. Google has introduced a tool called Dynamic World, which uses deep learning and satellite imagery to develop a high-resolution map of its land coverage. Unlike the old maps, which take a long time to generate and lack details, Dynamic World classifies the land cover type for every 102 square meters. It can show how likely it is that an area contains one of nine cover types, such as water, flooded vegetation, built-up areas, trees, crops, bare ground, grass, shrub, or snow. The dynamic world model can produce over 5,000 images a day. This will allow researchers and policymakers to see the impact of disasters and better respond to changes. That's all for this edition of Tech It Out. If you are interested in more technology and science news, please check our website and social media platforms. I'm Xiaoqing in Beijing. Talk soon.